So today, Fairy Pilchard has come along to show me the Tarak Noor. Um, he's just literally joined the server and he had a blueprint to show me. Um, somebody actually asked me to whitelist him and he was on in a few minutes. So, fair play for being active and online, my friend. So, here he is. I'm just going to take a few shots of it from various angles. Okay. And like I say, it's got a very interesting design to it. It looks like we might have to spend a bit of time looking at the inside of this one. Right, so, checking out the back. So we've got hangar doors everywhere. I've seen about one. There's two at the back there, obviously. A great big one on the bottom. There's found to be access hatches as well. I'm pretty sure I saw a couple in the top and we've got turret points everywhere. Uh, he's mainly gone for a white, gray, black color scheme with the blue crystal. And then of course the glass actually fits really well in with that design style. Um, good use of the lighting inside these shoulder type pieces. I know they're not shoulders, but just whatever they are. The lighting in there looks good. I mean, you come away far away and you've got a good amount of... Go away, star. You've got a good amount of blue just there, which is lovely. So, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, see if I can learn some more about this and take a look inside. Okay, so let's take a little look at the inside. I've started off in the hangar bay. So here we are in the hangar. Got a great big giant floor just there, which is nice. It keeps the idiots out. Right, so let's have a look around, shall we? <sighs> Looks like he's got a dock ship already just here. Some shields. What have we got? Another dock. It looks like there's a door system in place. I bet if I click... No, I don't know. Right, let's keep going. Let's see, what have we got up here? We've got lighting up here. We've got gravity blocks. I guess you can walk along this gantry. Aha! And now we can figure out how to get in. Right, brilliant. So we come along. And we have corridors to the left and the right, so let's check those out first. So I'm guessing this is going to be either an airlock or another hangar. Yep, there's an airlock out onto the surface. Okay, here's another, that's the hair, that's where I was a minute ago. Observation window. That's a hell of a lot of detail in this. It's almost difficult to do this room by room in one video. So. We've got a control center. We've got everything here. And this is this is a really good cockpit. I like that cockpit. That's really good. He's made good use of the space he's ended up with. Room for two pilots in the cockpit here. Very nice. So have a look around, see if there's anything I've missed. I don't think there is anything I've missed at the moment. Right, let's jump on the board and check it out. Oh, that's great. Okay, so now we're going to do the weapons test. So we've had a good look at this one. He's shown really good use of angles. He's using a lot of the wedges in places to give a nice sort of finned design along the along the top surfaces. Um, there's a couple of, like, I've noticed here. I've got some nice little patterns going on here. It's attention to detail. Just using this, the black line with the grey line, gives it a band, sort of banded effect along the armour plate. Obviously, yeah, we've got a little red light. I like the little red lights. I mean, I want people knowing where the doors are. The launch tubes are brilliant. And... Uh, I might need to be doing something similar in a project coming soon. So let's get him the ballistics gel. So the Taragnor ballistics tests. Here we go, starting with one click. Okay, 
So looking at that, it's over 10. Looking about probably about 12. Okay, so it's over 30. It's over 30. Probably about 32. <laughs> so, who was that? So it's over 32. Um, and yeah, so let's go on to the next one. Looks like this guy's going to chew through in no time. So while he's doing that, let's take a look at the guns. Last 50 is always the hardest. So we gotta do the one shot test next and then we can move on to his next weapons computer. Okay, one click test. Let's do it. Interesting. Something didn't work there. Don't know what. But he failed to pierce even the first layer. Hmm. Okay. Move on to his next weapons computer. Okay, here we go. One click on his second computer. So let's have a look. About five or six, maybe seven at the most. Let's get that one second reading. That's interesting. It's not penetrating, but it's doing more more damage to a very close, very tight area. Okay, number three. Sustained fire to the core. Right then, so we're only going to look at two weapons computers. I asked the owner to pick the two they favour the most, based on the fact that you can only fire one at a time, or you'd need three people in your in your uh, ship. And I don't meet many people that pilot their ships like Power Rangers yet. So, um, and if you are a group of players that do that, please bring it to me, because I'd love to see that. Anyway, so in the end we cut him short, but you can see that the different weapons racks have different roles. And the uh, layout gives a different effect. So, that was an awesome ship. Like I say, the the detail on this is that it's got its own very unique style. See, there's a lot going on here, but it all works. It all makes sense. And uh, it looks like a bit of a jack-of-all-trades, this ship, because it's a carrier with decent guns. And um, as you just saw, it's got salvaging and plenty of room for turrets. You know, uh, put a few turrets on here and uh, you got no problems. So, yeah, beautiful ship. Thanks again for bringing it along. And uh, to everyone watching this, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.